Hey guys, what's going on? Accurate here. Welcome back from the long dark, a year in the dark. Episode I can't keep track of anymore. <laughs> so we're up there. Closing in on 80, it's gotta be. What is it, 77, 78, something like that. Anyway, so what I've done is I've uh, taken, oh, I, I left, when I left off, it was, uh, I was at Jackrabbit Island. There's a, like a two or three day spurt of like fog that set in, a real heavy fog. And uh, uh, I wanted to grab uh, the bear hide and, and things like that and bring it back here and get it get it uh, dropped off here so we could uh, keep everything kind of kind of together. Also grabbed a couple um, uh, rabbit skin pelts and went ahead and repaired my mitts. And uh, um, but the uh, the bear skins we have enough. We have two of them that have just cured, and there's another one that is curing here. That's the one I brought from the uh, Jackrabbit Island uh, cabin. And uh, and I uh, went ahead and repaired my my hats right here this ear wrap is now uh, good so is this one and uh, that's in pretty good shape so things are looking pretty good I did some minor repairs I also got to looking at something here and let me show you guys what I'm seeing here so that's 195 days right so we're just about a little bit over halfway there to, to a year in the dark but we've done pretty much everything the two things that I haven't done is I haven't made the bear coat and I haven't made the moose cloak and I would like to hunt the moose also with a bow and arrow. I think what we'll have to do is we're going to do both of those. And after I get the moose cloak, assuming I survive the bow and arrow hunt, I'm going to have to declare a mercy rule on uh, on the long dark star stalker mode. Um, I, I mean, honestly, if, if we went any further than this, all I would be doing is sitting here, passing time, sleeping, passing time, sleeping eating drinking passing time sleeping it would just be a cycle of that and you know uh honestly i don't have enough time to just sit here and and uh to waste like that i literally i worked 22 hours of overtime last pay period and i have another 12 hours of overtime scheduled this pay period then two people are getting off fto training one of which i'm training and uh they'll be fully independent and considered manpower so that will uh hopefully uh, get rid of a lot of the overtime that's been uh, plaguing my uh, YouTube existence. <laughs> so, uh, but the other thing is, there's a lot of games out there that I want to play that I really just don't. I can't have enough time to dedicate to it properly. So, um, the other thing is, in December, I believe, I believe it's December, uh, the next chapter for the Long Dark Story Mode is supposed to come out. I think, and I want to be freed up and ready to go for that as well and bring that to you so the long dark is not going away from the channel at all by, by any means um i just need to uh you know get a break try something new and uh you know return to it fresh and uh you know declare victory in this series because it's you know we're, we're basically swimming in resources at this point we could survive a thousand days no problem I, I don't i don't see there being an issue with that with very minimal effort but there are other games out there that i'd like to bring to you um green hell pops into mind looks very challenging i played a little bit of it it looks really good so anyway let's let's hop in here um needed some guts for craft or repairing my wolf coat i believe it was yes hour and 30 minutes let's go and repair this thing up there we go starting to get night time and we're not super tired yet take a look outside see if we see the aurora i would like to try to make it to a computer if there is an aurora but we haven't really seen that happen lately the nearest computer is going to be in a quonset hut i believe someone said that there was in fact a computer there couldn't remember but uh if there is we'll we'll give it a shot uh, let's go and pass a little time see what it looks like before we decide to head off to bed no, no, hold on before we pass time let's see if there's anything else that needs fixed up here my pants? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we can find some more cloth. I think I've left all the cloth back at the Jackrabbit Island cabin. Oh yeah, we got plenty of cloth in here. Tear this stuff up here. And... I don't know. Will it let me do a repair at night? I think it will on clothing. I just don't think it'll let you craft new things. Let's check. Inquiring minds would like to know. Some of you probably already know the answer out there. One thing I do like is... See how there's like a little patch there? And then this one's in better condition, so the patch is gone. I like that little detail. 
You can just look at your clothes and kind of tell if they're in need of a repair, if you know what to look for. Let's see if it lets us do it. Yep, it sure does. Maybe it's because we got just a little bit of light left. I don't know. All right, so we got some boots. They're in 82% condition. Those are pretty good, honestly. Um, I have, do have... Does it take leather or does it take... It takes cured leather. And I have I have a deer hide. Um, yeah. I'm good with those. I don't really need to... I'd rather wait till they're about 70% rather than... So I get a full 30% repair rather than 18%. Everything else looks pretty good. Yeah. And I am wearing all of it. So yeah, 22 pounds, 22.3 pounds of clothing worn. And man, it's al almost me wearing my uh, equipment at work. I wear about 30 pounds of equipment at work. So. Yeah, it's probably not that much. More, I think probably now. There, I, like, I don't carry pepper spray anymore. I carry a taser only. Um, you could, I could carry t pepper spray if I wanted to. I could carry a bunch of other stuff if I wanted to, but, um, I think I've lightened my belt up a little bit just to, for the sake of, you know, well, I put on weight internally enough so that I don't need to have it on my belt as well. Let's put it that way. Uh, we got plenty to drink. I don't know. Maybe. Let's go ahead and spend a little bit more time here real quick. I think we'll go ahead and sleep at this point. I think when we wake up, given how tired we are, it should be very close to morning. And we can get started on the on the bear coat right away. It's going it's to take like 30, what is it, 35, 36 hours, something like that. It's a lot of time. Uh, so anyway, let me see. I am going to get another drink. Otherwise, I will wake up dehydrated. There we go. Okay, let's just have a good night's sleep. Since we're working outside, I'm not worried about cabin fever hardly at all. So um, just take the proper precautions and pass time outside rather than inside when weather permits. And really not a big deal. Uh, I'll just do 10 hours because I'm sure it'll wake me up before then. But we'll wake up fully rested. Okay, woke up fully rested. The sun is just starting to come up. Um, we can just kind of hang out here and get our bearings, have a little drink. Or sort of soak in the morning a little bit. Take it easy. Read the paper. Because there are a lot of papers laying around. I mean, they're all the same issue over and over again. I think we actually have some sun poking through the windows. It's going to be foggy again. It is a bit foggy. See, this is what I kept running into for about two or three days up there. Now, I really didn't want to walk all the way down here in the fog. I do, I, I do not like walking in the fog. At all. I don't mind working at the workbench in the fog. That's fine. Uh, do I have... I probably need... Hold on, let me check. I probably need cured guts. I probably need like two hides and a cured gut. Or two hides and four... I think it's four cured guts, isn't it? Two bear hides and four cured guts. Is that what it is? Let's check. Before we venture all the way over there. All 30 feet over there. Let's see here. Two bear hides. Yep, four feet. Four feet yes. I'm so on top of it this time. I'm all over it, guys. All over it. Actually, if I'd been all over it, I would have remembered it the first time I walked out the door, not, not the second time. So, how much weight are we carrying? Man, we're still underweight. Gosh, that, that freaking satchel, that bonus, the moose satchel is just such a nice bonus to have. Okay, so we're here. Let's make our make our pear skin coat, guys. 30 hours. So, we have plenty of food. Yeah, we're good. Let's go ahead and get started. And we need hunting knife. We need those tools. I don't think it penalizes you. Like, I don't think it takes any... Um, I don't think it wears the tools down, which is kind of nice. Let's do eight hours and... Oh, it does. It does. Okay. Heck, let's just do the hunting knife. It's getting cold. Shoot, we're gonna have to step inside. Nope, nope, it's going up. It's going up. Temperature's going up. Alright, I think we're gonna be alright. I'm gonna go for it even though I'm thirsty and hungry. Okay, so we did eight hours worth of work there. Nice. Get that drink. Let's reward ourselves. Oh, I'm gonna need to go to the fishing cab and get some food anyway. We'll be right back. We'll continue where we left off. Man, that's almost a full day's worth of work right there. 
If, uh, I thought we were going to have to step inside and warm up for a minute. And I thought we were going to be battling the cold, but it, need to eat some. it reversed course just at the right amount of time. Alright. I don't, don't you worry about food, Will. We got you some steaks over here. I haven't seen a wolf this whole time. I've been wondering, even before I started recording, when I was walking from here to, from the uh, Jackrabbit Island over to here, sort of cut that out, and I uh, didn't see any anything over there either. That's the cooked. Verifying, yes. See the char marks and everything? Alright. Alright, uh, I think we ate it all, but... I think we ate it all, but I want to make sure I'm not running around with it. Okay, and I got some pinnacle peaches I brought with us, too. But not really, honestly, not needed. I think we have a lot of water in here. Yeah, we do. There we go. Great. Okay. Well, there we go. We got a cooking pot on me, a cooking pot here. I got cooking pots everywhere. All right. So, let's see here. Let's get a drink. Let's get back there and uh, get a couple more hours, maybe, on the coat. Before we call it a night. It'd be neat if you could use those nets for something. Like, there's rope there. Oh, yeah, that would be really cool. Okay, 76% cured. Wow, going pretty quickly. So, I think... Wait, wait we're good. I just need to go over to the workbench. I don't know why I stopped in here. Habit. Habit, I guess. Okay, let's continue. How many hours do you think we'll get? Uh, um, we're not going to get four. Now, see, I think it wears us down at a constant rate each time you do it, so I think you're better off doing it in large chunks. Because each time it's probably taken, what, two or four percent off? I don't know. Alright, I mean, we have plenty of knives, we have plenty of hatchets, it's not a problem. Yeah, we did it. Badge received. What was that? Because I've stayed outside so long? Let me know what the badge was. It, like, it looks like I have a cold heart or something like that. I think it's because I've spent so much time outside. But it was weird because it happened right after I got done crafting a little bit. So I'm not sure. But it was a snowflake, which indicates cold. It's because I spent so much time in freezing temperatures. I don't know. I don't think it was freezing. Well, I guess it was technically. Without my clothes, it would have been very, very freezing. Very much freezing. <laughs> so maybe that's it. Hmm. Oh, wait, you know what? I wonder if I can find it over here. Will it tell me? Those badges? Don't let me know. Badges, badges, badges. Probably not. I'll go through all the stats here for you guys, too. Wolf close encounters 214. Wolf struggles 20. Wolf struggles 120. <laughs> I'm undefeated. Wolves killed 45. Wolves distracted by decoys 19. Bear attacks survived 2. Bears killed 10. Really? I've killed 10 bears? Doesn't seem right. Man. Moose attacks survived 1. Moose has killed 1. Deers killed 4. The deer have gotten off easy. Rabbits killed poor rabbits. 29. Not, not as poor as the wolves, though. Meat consumed 396.2... What is that, pounds? Probably. Oh, it is pounds, yeah. Okay, I see it over there in the parentheses now. Fish consumed 149. Fish caught 353. Meat harvested 801. Guts harvested 60. Wow. 
Firestar Hunt 37. I'm a, I'm a freaking pyro. Longest burning fire, 34 hours. I kept a fire going for 34 hours. I don't even remember that. Cabin Fever 0, Intestinal Parasites 2. Those are my fault. Frostbite 0, that's good. Uh, Bloodlust 12, you know, add some boo boos. Hypothermia 1, Falls 3, Broken Ribs 1. Blizzard survive 81 blizzards. That's a lot of blizzards for 200 days. Man. Okay, so I didn't show it there, but uh, I'm sure it'll be in my Steam uh, profile. But, uh, alright, so... Let's see here. We're good to go to sleep. So, I don't think we're really that tired, though, to make it through the whole night. So, I might need to just... Uh, kill some time. Mm, might do that. I might go make a fire and cook a little. That might be a good way to pass some time. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's cook up some more of this meat over here while we while we're at it. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. That stalag. Well, it's not. It's a, it's an icicle, but the one that kind of looks like a stalag might hanging down there. Thought it was a wolf. Go like glitched going up the. Uh, there's a wolf going up the, uh, the, the the rock face there. I was a little worried. Regular wolves don't bother me. Glitched wolves, yeah. You never know what kind of mystical binary superpowers they might have. Okay, let's head on in here. Me, uh, what do I feel like having? What do you guys think? Uh, do I have some? Do I have some fish already in here? No, I don't. Shockingly. Okay. We'll do. Uh, do one, two of those. Eh, we'll just do one of those. And the fir wood. Yeah. I think it should be fine. Then we'll cook up some meat. Uh, let's do, uh, let's do some ruined. It's been a while since I've had some wolf. I don't know, we'll use the ruined one. Take it. Something's gotta go. And, uh, take it, take it. Take it. Take it. That's probably enough. Alright. Let's get this party started. Cardboard matches. Fire striker. Magnifying glass. Eh, zero percent on that one. I'm good, but I ain't that good. Let's use some wood matches. So we're not here all night. Losing out to the 15% suck out. On the, uh, the paper matches. Good. All right. Put on that fir wood. Got three hours of burn time. Let's do some cooking, guys. Cooking with Chef Accurize. I'll take 46 minutes to cook for real. No, it's not gonna take that long because I have like skills. It'll it'll go faster. I forgot that it says that, but it doesn't really mean it. Maybe it does take the long. No, okay. That one went pretty quick too. That was 20, what, 126? One hour, I see I'm getting extra time from my, from my fire, more than what it's showing, and then I'm getting extra time from the uh, cooking than it's showing also, because of the high levels of skill on both of those, I think. It says 46 minutes, but I don't think it takes that long at all. I think I need to lay down. 48 minutes left on the stove. Let's see. 48 minutes on the stove. And this should not take 40. I think this takes 46. Let's watch. I don't think... My fire's not going to have... I still got 18. Okay. So that went way... Was that Was that everything? I think that was everything. I think I have four pieces. Yeah. Yeah, that worked out. I eat that. There we go. And then drink. Now we're nice and tired. 
and we can just, I'm just going to leave them right here at the, at the door. I think that's everything. Nope, one more. There we go. Alright, so we got some fresh meat there. Did I, did I attract any? My milkshake bringing any boys to the yard? No. Okay. Every time it seems like I'm running, if it's windy and I'm running, it seems like I'm running into the, the wind. Always. It's almost like five miles of school and blizzards uphill both ways. But it kind of feels like saying. Nice and tired though. So this is, unfortunately this is going to cut into our day. We got too tired. We cooked a little too long I think. Oh well. I'm an overachiever. What can I say? Alright. Fine. This isn't going to get me fully fully rested but we'll, yeah, we'll do nine hours. Here we are. The one thing I don't want to do is I don't want to craft in the blizzard because obviously it'll damage your clothes. So you don't want to do that. That's midday. Okay, I'll get another eight hours in. Go do it. Get another drink. We don't run, run out of drink while we're crafting. Food's in good. We're good with food, so no worries there. Not that I really worry about food too much anyway, but I am trying to keep a full belly now that we're on cruise control, survival. Alright, let's try eight hours, see, see what we can do. Let's see that hunting knife's now at 34, let's see what happens. I think it was 4% each time. If I did like one hour, I think it would be 4%. If I did eight hours, it's 4%. If I do 12 hours, it's 4%, I think. There we go. Let me try just to simulate. 26. Oh, so it's not. It does have to do with how long you're actually crafting. Okay. All right. Good to know. Well, we can always bounce back to the hatchet if we need to. You know, what I could do is I could, I could probably freaking craft a... Uh... Oh, I need to actually... Yeah, I need to do that need with the heavy hammer. I, was gonna say, I could just use an improvised knife for this sort of thing. Where it really... Uh wears down your knives you could just make an improvised knife just for this type of thing save your other knives but honestly with all the knives that we have I mean we've passed up knives because we have so many plus the uh, sharpening stones not too worried about it we're getting a bonus for our weight why oh huh, okay we had a little you know, we had a little green uh anvil over there with the plus sign not used to seeing that used to seeing the, <laughs> the angry one not the happy one uh we're only half tired and we have enough calories on board for sure okay let's you know what let's let's craft a little more what am i doing i'm wasting daylight is what i'm doing that's silly if it if it's not not each instant like 4% wear on your knife for each instant it actually is related to how many hours you do. It doesn't make a difference if I do a short, uh, quick little uh, bit of crafting here. It's not going to matter. Let's try two hours. Ten hours remaining. Oh, we're going to have this thing knocked out tomorrow. Come on, baby. Get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Oh, I think we just made it. <laughs> I think we just made it. Starting to get a little, starting to get a little fridged out here. Well, no, not really. It feels like 36. Seems like it should be. I think I'm gonna sleep in a nice bed tonight. Yep, I'm not gonna sleep out in the uh, cabin. I've spent a lot of time outside today, so I don't need to worry about cabin fever. As much time as spent outside, I might develop agoraphobia, not cabin fever. Cabin fever. So. Mm, let's see here. How are we doing with food? 
811 calories, that's enough. Top off our drink and we'll get a good night's sleep. And it's, uh, yeah, it's probably a good time to go to sleep, actually. Probably about perfect. Let's see how this goes. We're not going to sleep full through the whole night. I think we're going to sleep about eight hours. We'll be a little early waking up, I think. Got to catch that worm. Okay. Yeah, a little bit early. A little bit early. Still a little bit more moon in the sky than sun. So, let's go over and have ourselves a nice bite so to eat. Hungry in my life. Hey, we're about to have a full English here, Will. It would be cool if you could actually collect the items needed for a full English and, ha and have yourself a big, like, full English breakfast. Like you get a badge for that. That would be cool. You have to go around and find some baked beans. That sort of thing. I don't know what the temp is anyway. What is the temp? Is it really that? Oh, it's not that bad. Still not that bad. Yeah. Yep. As soon as I want to travel, though, there's going to be, you know, two weeks of blizzard. Probably, I'll probably get to the full 365 oh, days God. just by being Ooh. trapped by blizzards trying to travel, so maybe, uh, maybe it's a non-issue. There wasn't much in that piece. I will say that there was not much at all in that piece. All right, getting thirsty again. Am I at the... I just... I just... Killed my water. Okay. Grab a little bit more here. Good stuff. Drink up and let's go finish that coat. I've never had this before. Ever. Kind of excited. Next one is the moose cloak. Kind of pumped up to get that one too. Alright. Well, we're going to end it on a good note, I'll tell you. Two two items I've never had before. That would be a great way to end the series. If I survive, that is. <laughs> my, the moose might kill me. However, I do feel like my hunting has gotten better. I, I now have the ability to crouch too, but I don't think that might be a good idea with the moose. So, the problem with the moose is that I can't... I think I have to keep... Like, you can't let it bleed out. You have to keep knocking down its hit points. It won't just... It won't just die from blood loss, I don't think. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to figure out how to do things with that, but uh, we'll get there. So I think I think we can. I think we can start crafting. We got there's a big. There's more than half of the sun up and over the horizon there on the on the little sundial or whatever you want to call it. It's not sundial, but. Head on back. So once we get this, we'll head back to Jackrabbit Island, sharpen up all our blades. Maybe do some repairs on all of our clothes if anything else needs repaired. I don't think we really, honestly, I don't think we really do. Maybe, maybe heal up the mucklucks. I uh, Maybe, maybe do that in these three, so everything's above 90%. That's so close. So close. Right now, it's letting me carry it around for 2.64 pounds. That's soon to change. That thing's going to get a lot heavier than that here in about 8 hours. Let me check and make sure that I'm good for food and drink. Let's go and just get a little bit extra drink. I think we can craft for 8 hours. Assuming the weather holds, it sounds like it could start to get a little bit dicey, but that's okay. That's it. Let's do it. Um, let's not use that, because I'm afraid it'll wear down completely. Um, I don't think it will. I don't think it's going to go down 24 in 8 hours, but we'll just use this instead. Just to play it safe, so I don't break the knife. Watch our temperature there. Dropped way low, but now it's going back up. We're okay. We're going to be alright. We're going to make it. A little bit thirsty, but we made it. So, and we're not even overweight. Wow, we're actually like four pounds underweight almost. I'll die if I don't drink something. Let me take a drink here, and we will be four pounds underweight.
Yep. Wow. All right, let's throw this thing on. Get inside and put it on. See how it looks. I wish I had third person perspective to see what I look like. Probably looked like the Michelin man. Running, running around. There's a big ball of fur. Like if a if a strong wind came during a blizzard, it just tum tumble off like a a furry tumbleweed going across the frozen ice. <laughs> oh man, let's see here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna throw that bad boy on. Let's get to the this menu. I think we'll be replacing the the one that I just repaired, of course. Take that one off and let's put. Well, let me put on another one. Why not? I can only wear one. Oh, are those? Wait a minute. Yeah, now I'm down to that, right? Where does this go? Is this a special accessory? Oh, I wonder if it's a special accessory. Why is it? My coat is. Wait, where'd my coat go? Right here. It's in progress. No, oh, I'm done with it. it. Eight hours, right? I did eight hours, didn't I? Why is it in progress? I need to pick it up out of the uh No, I have it in I have it. I'm holding it right there. There's can coat. I have 2.67 hours? Oh, I didn't realize I had that much time ago. Okay. That's fine. I thought I thought I did eight hours. I thought I maxed it out. I don't get that. That's a little weird. No biggie. Now we are gonna be overweight. Are we? Are we not? No. We're not. I was out there freezing. I didn't have any, <laughs> didn't have any jacket on. <laughs> All right, so let's throw this one on. We want that one on. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Where? I want to wear that. Yes. Now where's the other coat? Oh, In the workbench. Fifty-three minutes. Why does it keep? Why does it keep adding minutes to it? Okay. So. Okay. Is it done? Okay, it looks like it's done. What was up with that? Yeah, oh, there it is. Why did it do... What? Well, okay, someone has got to answer in the comments what just happened, because I missed something, apparently. I'm not sure what happened there. Let's wear that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, hold on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looks good. Looks good. Could armor myself up a little more, but I think I'm going to get rid of this one. Yeah, it also slows me down quite a bit. Let's take a look at my, my running. Okay. Actually, not too hateful. Yeah, it still run pretty good. Not bad. All right, so from here, got to, uh, let's head on back to the uh, head on back to Jackrabbit Island. Stop over here, grab some grub. Not, not scared of you anymore, fog. That's not true. I'm still scared of fog. I'm scared of falling or getting lost. I know. I should know this area by now, but blizzards in this game, it's not fun to get lost in, that's for sure. So I, I respect them. How much is this one? 1100 Okay, we're good. So when I head off for my my great uh, moose hunt, we can uh we can stop by here, have a little bite on the way out. And uh, we're about ready to get some rest. It's starting to get to be nighttime. Let's head on up to the uh, head on up to the island here. Let's run off some of this uh, energy we got. We don't have a lot of energy, honestly. Let's run off what's left. This is like my version of taking G Will to Jimboree so that he sleep well tonight.
This Arctic wasteland is Will's Jimbury. I should cut this episode short right now, just just to mess with you guys. I won't do it, I'm not that mean. I am kind of mean like that, but... I always get a couple comments. Man, I saw how short the episode was, I thought you died. When I, when I first opened it. If I do, you know, do like a 40, 40 minute episode or 42 minute episode. Never, I don't think I've ever cut one as short in, in hour long in an hour long episode series. I've never cut one as short as 35. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. So I think where we'll go for our moose hunt is I want to I want to look for the Aurora uh, computer stuff and I want to look for a moose at the same time. And basically the Carter Hydro Dam is honestly it's the best place. Um, the wolves are easy to handle there. Is it more? Jeez, I just... Like, literally. This one's handy. There's gonna be more over here, isn't there? Yes. These two are productive, man. I have, like, two two dead rabbits in here already. Keep I'm not sure I can carry much Tripping more. over dead rabbits. 84 pounds. Yeah, a little bit heavy. Here's those other two rabbit carcasses. So... What I'll do here is I'll, I'll carve up these carcasses real quick, and then we'll sharpen. Um, so, let's go ahead and do this real quick. There we go. 33 minutes. Alright, let's go back. Do the same. Rinse and repeat. I know. Yeah, it'd be so much easier to do with a knife that was in good shape. Like the one that uh, Wes sent me. That knife would be excellent for this sort of thing. Unfortunately, I can't import it to the game. I tried taking a picture of it and importing it, in, like sending the picture into my long dark folder. It just doesn't work. I can't import that thing into the game. Much as I'd like to. It's pretty cool. I need to find a place to rest. Okay, so we got all those done. Oh, no, we don't. We got one more. Wow. First world survival problems right here. All right, so I finished watching uh, the most recent Alone, and spoiler alert, just turn down the uh, volume if you don't want to hear it or anything like that, or, or skip ahead maybe 30 seconds in the video. I've come to the determination. Okay, you've been warned. I've come to the determination, determination, basically, all you have to do to win, to win the game now is just get really fat before you go into the scenario. And then just live off your fat stores, because that's pretty much what happened. Special Forces guy? Nope, didn't matter. All those skills didn't matter. Took somebody who basically didn't get anything as far as sustenance, really, and just was able to starve himself using his fat stores, so... Whenever um, doctor says, hey, you know, you need to lose some weight, I'm like, you don't know what's coming. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to be like, you have no idea what tomorrow brings. I'm just preparing for the worst. I am, I am, <laughs> I am a forward-looking individual. All right, so, now that you're all back, here, I'll stop talking about all of it. It's a great show, though. If you've never seen it, go check it out. There's like six seasons of it. It's awesome. You can get it on Amazon. And you can either rent it, just just buy the first series. You'll be hooked. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry I just cost you a lot of money, but you'll be hooked. <clears throat> if you want a true survival show, that's about as, as good as it gets. That's as good as, let's say, the world of lawyers will allow to get. I mean, they, they, they will pull you out if you are seriously, like, at serious risk of causing yourself bodily harm. Permanent bodily harm. They will pull you out. The the, the uh, producers will, because they do a, a weekly medical check um, on these participants. But other than that, there's no contact. So until you tap out. If you tap out, you use your sat phone. Tap out. And that's it. You're gone. Everyone else remains, and then the last person standing. Um, and they're all separated by like five miles of wilderness. They don't know where the other person is. And they film it themselves, just like YouTubers would. And uh, um, go to different regions that are pretty harsh. And 
Um, what else is there? Yeah. So, the last person standing gets $500,000. And it's ten, 10 people. I will say that there was one season where they did have a uh, company, but it was like, a, it was two it, teams of two is what it was. I need to drop but then they went back to, to one, which I kind of like better. I think I like one better. But, I mean, heads, heads and shoulders above anything else that's out there as far as something to watch, entertainment-wise, like that. Okay, so... Let's see here. Go ahead and sleep. Oh, wait. Eh, yeah, let's go ahead and sleep. I was thinking about sharpening now, but... I think I'll sharpen in the morning. Eh, we'll do nine, nine hours. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, 197 days, 21 hours, 20, 12 minutes. Should have called it 200 days in the dark, <laughs> 365. That was a little, I guess I never do clickbait, but apparently I unintentionally made a clickbait thumbnail because I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, apologies all around. Let's see here. Uh, see, we got another hunting knife. They, oh, this is mine. Hold on. Day 67, we got four hunting knives I think we got some sharpening yeah sharpening stones here so I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen this one up while, we, while we're at it here so let's take our hunting knife and we might need another sharpening stone but I think we'll probably need two sharpening stones to get these back into into shape what do we get 5% per yeah we get 5% per, per sharpen and it takes 5% off. Uh, takes a whole lot of sharpening, that's for sure. We're getting there. What was I up to? Sixty something? Yeah. Okay. Now I am. I see that. I see that. Don't worry. I'll finish this, and then I'll get a drink. I'm in the zone. It's gonna be sharp as a razor by the time I get done with it. Be slicing and dicing that moose up real fast. Okay, the wet stone's down to 30. Alright, two more. There we go. 100%. Brand new. And, okay, there we go. Let's get a drink. I'm going to dump quite a bit of stuff before I leave because I am rolling heavy right now. I've got pots and all kinds of junk that I really don't need. I am going to leave the rifle behind. I probably shouldn't, shouldn't do that, but I am going to. So Sometimes, you, I mean, there's got to be a point where you cut the umbilical cord, right? <laughs> you got to finally do it. And I'd say 200 days, uh, it's about time. So, all right, let's go ahead and get back into sharpening this hatchet. Where'd the hatchet go? Where'd my hatchet? Hatchet, there you are. Not going to get much hat. Yeah, not going to get much sharpening out of this one, but. You know what I should do? Do I have an extra hatchet in here? I should just swap it out. No extra hatchets? Really? Hmm. Okay. Probably have one over here. Probably in this drawer. No, no hatchets. Hmm. Nothing. Okay. Well, we'll sh we'll sharpen this one up. Did I put a. I did. I put a wolf pelt underneath there. That's so weird. Okay. Um. 
I need the extra whetstone. Where are you at? There you are. That bear did take a lot of uh, a lot of the durability out of the, uh, the knife. All right, so here we go. We're about to break it. Boom! Ruined. All right, let's keep going. Spend a whole day sharpening. I think it's going to take this long. Here, maybe like eight minutes at the most. It's take me that long to sharpen my my kitchen knives. Of course, I'm normally not making. I'm normally not cutting bear hides with them either. For like you know, thirty hours. Ninety-four. One more. We'll make it 99. I'm not going to do another one. There we go. Good enough. Good enough. Okay, let's get rid of... I can drop uh, that one. Can I just drop it? No, it won't let me. Okay. I'll actually be out here to drop it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Drop. Don't need you anymore. Honestly, don't need a tin can. If I have a pot, I'll be fine. Uh, I really don't need 18 charcoals, I'm just saying. I'm not going that far. So let's throw those 18 charcoals in here. Do I have room? I do have room. For those 18 charcoals. Boom. There we go. And let's put that somewhere. Let's put that, like, right here. There we go. It's my tin can spot. Everybody's got to have a tin can spot in their, in their house. What else can we get rid of? Let's just go through it like this. That looks okay. Not that heavy. That looks... See, I'm actually underweight now. Um, antibiotics, yeah, I need that. Bandages, yeah, it's always good to have. Old man's wound dressing, that's good. I could probably use some actual... Like, kind of, Reshi tea, I already have antibiotics. Don't need that, so let's throw that in there. Purification tablets, honestly, don't need those. No, I can throw those in there. Uh, you know what? I think I keep those over here, so I'll have to go over here and do that. Dual skin coat, don't need to be carrying that anymore. Nope. Put that in there. It's a nice wolf skin coat. If anybody breaks into this house, they're going to be, like, thrilled. I can eat that before I leave. It's, I don't want to carry carry that with me. It is actual. It's, at this point, it's decoy. That's all it is. Cup of coffee, we'll keep that. Some peaches. We'll, we'll get that sorted outside before we leave. Just before we leave. Bedroll. I want to take my bearskin bedroll, I think. Or do I? Not really. I'll take this one. 76%. Yeah, I'll take this one. I'll leave that one at home. Hunting rifle. I'm going to do it. I told you I was going to do it. What room I got? Not enough for him. Hmm. Where am I going to put this hunting rifle? Hmm. In the refrigerator? No, in the oven. I'll never find it again. That's the problem if I put it there. Alright. I think what we'll do is we'll put the hunting rifle like somewhere obvious. That even I can spot. I know where I'm going to put it. Weapons. See here. Mm. Drop it. And we'll take it from here. Put it like right up here. It won't let me put it in front of the TV? Really? Dang it. Oh, right there. Oh, I'll never miss it if it's there. That's like so perfectly balanced. Look at how well balanced that piece of craftsman craftsmanship is. Okay, um, mm, ammo though, I will put all of my ammo in here. Where the hell did it go? I lost my mind. Lost my bloody mind. Okay. There we go. Uh, arrowhead, don't need that. I have plenty of, I got a lot of arrows. I have like 21 arrows. I think I'm good. If I can't bring him down with 21 arrows, I don't need to be hunting anymore. Yeah, I got some fishing tackle if I need it, which is super lightweight, so no worries there. Don't need an extra hook. Uh, honestly, I don't really, probably don't need a sewing kit, but I'll keep it in case I get it gets torn up during a moose fight. One flare for... In case I decide to try a flare again. I get the crazy idea to try that. Okay, um, sticks. 
Yeah, I can get those on the road. Can't put any more in there, huh? Okay, well, we'll move over here and we'll put the sticks right here. Sticks. Actions. Not harvest. I don't want tinder blocks. Gosh, for the love of God, please don't give me tinder blocks. I got three cloth in case I need it for quick crafting. And then I think I'm going to put all my... Yeah, I'm going to take this antiseptic with me. Pretty heavy, though. Ooh. I'll have the old man's wound dressing, though. I can use that. Right? That'll work. Yeah. That'll work. And do I have enough pain meds? That's the next big thing. Do I have enough pain meds? I got six. I got ten. That might not be enough. Let's take another six. They're not that heavy. There we go. Because if I'm going to end up getting trampled by a moose, I might need some pain meds. That's just what I'm thinking. And I am wearing all this. There's nothing unnecessary that I'm carrying around. That looks pretty good. Lantern. Always good to have. Uh, pot. It's a bit heavy, but I'll, I'll keep it because I need it for stuff. Alright. I could eat anything. Don't interrupt, Will. Don't interrupt. Three cloths. I could probably find those anywhere, but I'll carry them anyhow. I'm down to 54 pounds. That's not too bad. Yeah, yeah. This is where I want to put the water purification tablets. There we go. Stems. Might take one extra. I'm anticipating trouble, as you can tell. Uh, the wound dressing. Okay. And it is... Alright. I think we're good. So we're good. So, you know what? We could probably make it. Let me see here. Ah, we're 52 minutes into the episode. Stupid. Well, let's get our food situation figured out here. I'm going to eat real quick. This little bit of food I have here. This morsel. Oh, it's kind of a nice day. I kind of want to really travel. Okay. So I'm going to take these for traveling around food. And maybe an MRE. Two. And, uh, yeah. Maybe three. Okay. Um. Trace Stacy's. Mm, yeah, I'll take that, because... What are we doing? Weight. Yeah, we're still really good with weight. Alright, one more MRE. A bit ridiculous how much food I'm carrying around, because there's food everywhere. And a cup of coffee. No, don't need it. Dang it, another rabbit. They're dying like rabbits out here. I mean, breed no, they're dying, yes. I was getting all mixed up. Can't keep track of it. They breed like rabbits and they die like rabbits. Let's take that with us. What does that give us? 60, okay, that's good. Pretty good. That was the heaviest thing I just picked up right there was the, the water. It's, it takes up to about 60 pounds. Yeah, 60 pounds. But we're still 17 pounds under. And we got our... Bow and arrow. And we are very well armored. I want to see what my armor rating is. Just curious. Protection 36%. Wow. Warmth bows 58 degrees. Windproof 22. Feeling pretty good. Alright guys, let's see if we can make me in the next episode get over to uh, the Carter Hydra Dam and see what it holds for us. So, I'm going to end this episode here. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next episode of The Long Dark. Thank you so much for watching.